Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today is Wednesday, and I'm gonna show you guys the update on our plants. Everything is growing really well. Uh, everything looks a little bit dry. These ones are a bit wet. But I noticed that our plants are getting really leggy and I don't want that to happen. So I'm trying to let them dry out a little bit between watering. Our pumpkins look good. We have one single solitary carrot there. And then we've added some strawberries to the mix. Yeah, we've, I did. We've tried to grow strawberries on this farm before and it has never worked out, but I believe in it. Also, we have a ton of tomatoes in this pot. I think that's my pot. No, no maybe Sophie's pot. So it's because that one, I, I accidentally dumped a bunch of seeds. She accidentally dumped too many seeds in there. So we'll transplant them and put them into a different pot. And then after that, I just tried throwing a bunch of seeds in. This morning, uh, before I was even dressed, there was a knock at our door. Nobody ever comes to our door at seven o'clock in the morning. Yeah, and I opened the door and it was this man, this older guy, and he was saying that his dog so ran out this morning when they opened the door and it was running wild. It's a bulldog and it's in our area. Um, somebody saw it run through our farm. We looked everywhere. It's not, she's not here. So I called my sister who's the animal control officer and she's gonna keep an eye out. I should check and see if she messaged me. No news yeah. yet. But I hate when that happens, when somebody loses their dog, it always makes you feel like, oh my gosh, if my dog got free, like once they're out of your sight, you never know what could happen to them. I feel really bad for the guy, it's him and his son, it was his son's dog. They're from the city and they came to visit and when they opened the door, the dog ran off. It was a bulldog and he said like, it's not a country dog. It doesn't know anything about like living in the country. And where we live, there's just field upon field upon field. By the sounds of it, it ran through our fields and just kept on running. Oh man, I hope they find it. It's super scary to have your dog running at large. But anyways, can you remind me that I have to get chicken food on our way home? Or do you want to stop and get it now? On our way home. All right, yeah, it might close. Okay, so we're gonna stop and get chicken food. Um, but we're headed to the mall to do a little bit of spring shopping. Our ha house is a mud pit at the moment. From Sam driving down and back and forth to the barn all the time, the driveway is just all pure mud. Everything is mud. I don't know how I forgot, but in Canada, spring is just an extension of winter. It's still cold, and instead of like being snowy, it's all muddy and rainy and wet, and it's just like another time that's not great for riding, so it sucks. All right, Gabby's playing a game. Try me, tackle. All right, pick one. Cars and trucks, Ford. Oh, so what, it has to be a certain F letter? Look, it's this, what, we're... Ford F. Oh, is that what you have to do? I don't know, pizza toppings. Pepperoni, P. Pepperoni. No, uh. Pineapple. Cheese. Cheese, we got it, right? Uh-oh. Can't resist the game. Authors. Uh, what does it the say? The Great Outdoors. The Great Outdoors. Uh, camping. Oh, we lost. Any three items that you purchase, you get the fourth item for free. Wow, that's such a good deal. Yes. Thank you. You're very welcome. I love freeze-dried Skittles. Puffy Skittles. Chubby Skittles. So we're at the showcase store. We're supposed to be getting spring clothes, summer clothes. And this is where we are. Oh, these are the weighted, the weighted creatures. This week's top trends. Oh my God, they have a weighted stitch. Is that a weighted stitch? No. Oh, it's not weighted. It's a pillow pet stitch. So you undo it and then oh, the stitch. it turns into a pillow. The girls were into pillow pets before. I've never had one before. You've had one. Where are you dragging me to? Oh look, babies. I love babies. Um, I have one of those. All right, what? Sip and sense? What's it's that? scented, so it makes you think you're drinking that flavor of drink, but it's water. That's the dumbest thing. Shut up. <laughs> Sophie, are those the shoes that you like? Mm -hmm. They're no. Okay, they are those cool. Are you should try them on though. They're mm -hmm. really funky. They're cool. No. Sam says we're going to have an alien invasion soon, and then we'd just fit right in. Gabby likes the shark ones. But honestly, these are really cool. Sophie has to get summer shoes. She likes her Crocs, but when we go places, I like her to have regular shoes. And she got some last year, but she didn't find them comfortable. These are cute. Summer. 
You're not getting these for summer. Not those ones. Those ones are. She, she wants the same kind of shoes that Gabby has. Gabby has these ones Both that are winter. Shots. Yeah, but you're not getting them for summer. See the tan ones? Yeah, all right. We're in Gabby's favorite store, which is American Eagle, and she loves these pants, which she needs a size four. So when I was young, they had pants like this, and you could like make them short. Here I sit in my private dressing room waiting for the girls. Some of my favorite clothes that Sophie has, my favorite hoodies, came from this store. But this is Gabby's dream store and this is where Gabby buys almost all of her stuff. It used to be, what's that other store she used to shop at? With Kaylee. Has, yeah, she used to, Gabby used to, Gabby used to shop at Garage, but now she likes it here. How's it going, Sophie? I'm trying them on right all right, so Sophie's gonna Gabby, get her first pair up. of ripped jeans. Oh, I love those, Gabby. <laughs> I know why I don't like them out. They're stretchy, and I hate stretchy pants. Oh, I love stretchy. I love these. That's gonna rip. Yeah, that's gonna rip. You need one with no rip up there. Mine ripped right there. It's fine. No, it, you know the freezing day that we had? Yeah, that's when it ripped. You want me to look for another pair that doesn't have no, the rips up there? I'm looking for a Kong. I want a Kong to stimulate Ellie's little mind. But they don't really have very much here. Because then they don't like touch my ankle. All right, do they, that's the tallest size they have. You want those? Went outside. To check the chickens to see for Ellie. eggs, and Ellie came with us. And she loves it out there. She's just running around. Because we have to make sure that she knows, like, she has a big instinct for like chasing things. So we have to really make sure that she's not she a chicken chaser. Let's try and catch one of these things. Hold on, I'm great at catching them. Okay. Wait, you gotta move them. Anyway, we moved them outside. I was a little worried about it. Here's but <laughs> they're actually doing really well. Have some chub on them. That one's an Easter egg. Yeah. It's an Easter egg or Polish cross. Really cute. I'll get the youngest one. But our chickens didn't lay like yesterday. Or our chickens didn't lay today. That's the youngest. This is the the last one. Yeah. The the, the newest one. AKA Zoe. Zoe. Anyway, they're at the ugly stage. I swear they're at the ugly stage. But it's okay, they're gonna be beautiful. We are headed to riding lessons and we decided to bring Ellie Bear. Cause she had too much energy. After because she had there. a lot of energy cause we left her in the crate while we went to the mall. She's gonna run around. So we're gonna, we're gonna bring her because she, we left her in the crate. We left her in her crate when we went to the mall and I'm worried she won't sleep. I got she, needs ener she needs to burn off energy. Ellie. <laughs> She's so cute. She looks cute. Anyway, so what's weird about Ellie is that ever since I got Ellie, um, she, I, I think she just gets, I don't think she gets car sick like Daisy, but I think she doesn't feel good in the car. Lots of puppies don't feel good in the car. And the whole first like month that I had her, she would only sit in the back seat with Sophie. And I was like offended at first thinking like, why did she just want to be with Sophie? But it's not, it's the car. I know for sure it's the car. And when we got in today, she hasn't been in the car for a while. So when we got in the car just now, I sat down and she jumped out of my arms, jumped over there and jumped into Sophie's lap. <laughs> she is so super smart. She remembers everything. Ellie, she remembers everything. And she's such a good little puppy. She's so good. I got the best ripped jeans. So we got ripped jeans. They're my first pair of jeans. So you're gonna be soon seeing more of Sophie than you ever thought you needed to see. I also got new shoes. She also got new shoes, and then she also got another pair of pants, some black pants, right? Yeah. And then... Gabby copied me. She got two pairs of that kind. Gabby got two pairs of pants and a hoodie. She got a new hoodie. Are you wearing your new hoodie? No. No. So she She's got some stuff too. Hoodie. So the point of today was to get spring and summer clothes. Did you just turn off the heat when I turned it up? Yeah. I'm not freezing. She's dressed better. I'm dressed better. I'm ripped jeans. So yeah, so he's in ripped jeans. But anyways, the theme for this summer is 
summer jeans. They actually make summer jeans. So Gabby got, they both got those pants. I forget what they're called. What are they called? Called they're, Catholic jeans. They're called, what's Catholic jeans? They're holy. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. The jeans that they got for the summer though, are thin like cargo pants and they have like the drawstring ankle that you can draw the string. I don't know what they're called, but that's what they got for summer. They're lightweight and they're like summer pants. I'm gonna be wearing these all summer. And Sophie's gonna be able to wear her holy jeans. Her, her Catholic jeans, would you call them? Catholic jeans. <laughs> her Catholic um, jeans. Every time we get a pair of ripped jeans, well every time Gabby gets them, because it's my first pair, he says, he could just go to Walmart, buy a pair of jeans, and cut them himself. Yeah, every time they buy jeans with holes in them, he always gives them a hard time. Like, it's so mad when someone leaves the car. She's like, take me with you. Oh, yeah, she was in the car the other day. She went for a walk. But also, I, told you that. I should tell you guys that um, my, my, I've been having my son and his girlfriend come over the last few days. They came over twice this week so that we could do some like in-home socializing with Ellie. At first she's like a little bit standoffish because she didn't know them, but by the second time they came, she was jumping on top of them and running around and playing with them and just having like such a fun time. So she's doing well with that. She gets very mad when people leave. <laughs> Kathy's drinking from a straw. That head tilt though. <laughs> she's like, help, your jeans have been stolen. <laughs> All right, so there was a change in schedule and Gabby is not riding her usual boy. Instead, she's riding this boy. Yeah. Do you guys remember him? Oh, actually, I don't think I've ever introduced you before. Hello. Come here, Ellie. Come on. Come on, let her go. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> she's learning to walk on a leash. <laughs> All right. So they're teaching Ellie to walk on a leash and she's doing really well. <laughs> Can you guys see her? There she goes. <laughs> and I promise that I, I will stay.